Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Carlton People. My name's Terry, and today I've got a 15-year-old little legend from uh, from Newcastle. His name's Riley. Riley, hello, mate. Hi, Terry. Thanks for having me on the show. Hey, not a problem. This is very uh, this is very organic, and this is yes, the way I like to do these very. things. It's it's good. Yeah, you reached out to me a couple of days ago, and we just teed it up as simple as that, mate. It was straight in, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. So I'm meeting you right now, and I think everyone, yep. and I guess everyone's meeting you right now. Everyone's meeting the two of Hello us. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mate, uh, we, we, talk, talk to me about where you're from. I did mention Newcastle, but talk to me about your world and, and where you come from. Yeah, so um, Newcastle, New South Wales, it's a like rug, really rugby league rich state and soccer as well, so... You find someone that supports AFL team and you're like, oh, and it's all you talk about. So, yeah. It's rare to find footy fans, or AFL fans over there, is it? Yeah, there's, there's, not, there's not many, but when you, when you find one, it's, it's good. I've got a mate at school, we, um, Barracks for Geelong. So we talk about that. And since we beat him earlier on this season, I, get, I definitely give it to him. Love it. <laughs> Emma, Emma. And my principal, she's a Sydney fan. So, like, since near Sydney, there's lots of Sydney fans and, yeah. Fantastic, mate. Well, why don't we start how we always start? Yep. Um, yeah, so you were born there as well? You born and yep. raised? Okay. Born here, yep. So you've got to tell me, how did you become a Carlton fan? How did it happen? Uh, family, pretty much as soon as I was born. My dad dressed me up. I've got photos of me just wrapped in Carlton gear from since I was just pretty much came out. Yeah. And, um, he um passed away in um 2013. So, but yeah, it's a family thing. My pop started it back in oh dinosaur ages, and then it's yeah all through my family. Yeah, and now uh, you're the one carrying the torch. Yeah. For the next uh, the next gen, not to put pressure on you, but you know the next generation of the family, you're going to have to carry the torch and, and dress up your kids one day. That's right. Definitely will. Yeah. So what's your earliest memory of the, of oh. the club? How far back do you go? Like, what's the first thing you remember? Round three, 2012, Collingwood was Mate. there. Flew, flew there. I remember the cheer squad started singing the song and I was in there and I was loving it. Mate, that's uh, – we spoke a little earlier before we started. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that that's my favorite memory. Yeah, yeah I have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Finals are great. Winning yeah, that's finals right. against Essendon and like, can you, you know, beating Essendon yeah. in the finals, massive. Yeah. Um, beating Richmond was massive, but that there's was, yeah. just something about that 2012 yeah. game. And one of my other memories, Andrew Walker's mark versus Essendon. Mm -hmm. Went back and kicked the goal, was there. So it was yeah. awesome. Amazing. So I can't really talk to you much about the previous rebuilds. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I wanna I wanna dive into your experience of the footy in you know twenty twenty one and the club. Uh what's your take? What's happening? What what are you seeing? Oh honestly, I think we're in the best position we've been in for at least ten years. Like we're in a really good position to go forward and Hopefully, win a premiership. Hopefully. I think, yeah, definitely yeah. will. We will. You we know, will. we have, it's so funny. Uh, you're 15? Yep. I'm 29. So I yep. have seen <laughs> as many premierships as you so have. So you, you're lucky, <laughs> very lucky. Well, I, I'm lucky, but I haven't seen. But you would have saw, saw the first 95. You would have seen that? Well, I was four years old. Oh, right. <laughs> so I, I, can, I can technically say I was alive for it, but. Yeah. I can't say that I experienced it yeah. or felt what it was like or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So we're very similar in what we've experienced yeah. in terms of winning. Um, but, yeah, look, I, I am I am happy and confident and bullish about this group. There's no yeah, doubt about so it. But one thing I've noticed is, so there's, you know, the generation that you're in right now who haven't really seen winning and my yeah. generation as well. And then there's the generation before us who only knew winning and I feel like mm, until we right. win that flag, we can't really connect. We don't that's really right. have the same experiences, right? Mm. Yeah. Because I, I talked to my pop and he saw the, like, the 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm like, it, like, I'm like, 
I want to change. I want to change, but I will never. I never will because it's like it's in my blood and it's right out through my body. And he's like, "Don't, don't, don't." And I'm like, "It's so easy for you to say that. You've seen so many glory days. Like I haven't seen one premiership. Like I think about winning the premiership, and I get, I get tingles. I've got tingles in my body right now because I just want to be there. And when that final siren goes on the last day in September, and Carlton are there, I'll. Oh, mate, you're talking. You're preaching to the choir. <laughs> Oh man! Talk to me about your favourite players. Who have you latched onto Crip, as your, Cripper, your Cripper. heroes? Cripper? Cripper. Oh, I love him. Why? I absolutely love him. Oh, just everything—the way he stands out and how he moves the ball—and as, even as a person, like he's just amazing. I love him. Yeah. If he's I very... if I met him, yeah, if I met him, I'd definitely cry. There's no doubt. <laughs> I love him. There's a mate. There's a good chance you will meet him one day. It's, I hope so. uh, yeah, no, there's a good chance you will. That's the beauty of our sport. We aren't. Yeah, too, that's right. We're, we're a big sport, but if you go down to the club and you go get a coffee or a hot chocolate or whatnot, yeah. there's a chance you can see the players. That's right. You know? Yeah. I've, like, I haven't ever been to Princess Park. Like, I'd love to. I've. My dad used to. We used to fly down to Melbourne a fair bit, and down in Carlton, Ligon Street, Carlton Gardens, and we go down there a fair bit. But those are like some of my earliest memories. I remember one morning he woke me up really early and he came in, came in I remember these Carlton clapping sticks and he was like, come on, we're going to Melbourne. I'm like, yeah, so excited and got smashed by the Hawks. But yeah. <laughs> as <laughs> we is, do, mate. Yeah, as we, that's as right. we always do. This is, get this smashed is by the Hawks. The very like 2014, in that like dark, dark, slumpy time for the club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Cripper. What else are you mm -hmm. seeing about this club? Do you, do you have any up and coming stars who are maybe going to be that next generation for you? Sam Walsh. Okay. Um, Charlie Kano, if he's fit. If he's fit. Yeah, that's right. Um, I really, I'm really seeing a lot of potential in Corey Durden. Hey, he, talking, he looks good. Talking doesn't my he? language, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> talking my language, he's Mr. Good. Durden. He's looking good. Yeah. Um, who else? Weedering for sure. Yep. Yep. They're so all, talk, I want to know a little bit about your game day experience because obviously you're not from Melbourne, so you yep. you watch all the games, you, you watch them on TV, I'm assuming? Yep, yep. So what's the setup? Who's watching with you and, and what's the vibe? Um, It's mainly myself, really. My mum follows the blues, but my dad like passed it on, has passed it on to me. And if he was here, we'd be side by side watching it together for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's just me, really put on my gear and hope for the best. I know my nan and pop from Broken Hill, like my whole family's from originally from Broken Hill. So they come down once every two years and I'll watch a game with them. And I remember against GWS, that game back in 2017, I think it was. I remember that I was, we were so happy. And against the Hawks when we won, yep. just... Yeah. With, I was with my grandparents then, so yeah. Brilliant. And who um, have, who have you got? Uh, I, I can see your your Guernsey that you've got on yeah. the old Nike ones. Is that is got, that a full team signature? Yeah. Is that what's yeah. going on there? Yeah. I got. Um. So when my dad passed away, I got heaps of his old Carlton gear, and I was I was about eight when he passed, and um. So now I'm starting to grow into it all, and I can wear it. Yeah, it's awesome. I've got one of his Juddy shirts inside. It's it's pretty special. Yeah. Yeah. Who was his favourite player? Jay. Yeah? Jody, yeah. Yeah, same. Can't go past him. I mean I mean, Kuda was my first hero, yeah. favorite player. Like, I've like got... the way yeah. you the way you talk about Crips is the way I used to talk about Kuda. Yeah, so you just uh... look up to him like in every aspect. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I've got right. A photo of Cripper. Um Cripper, sorry. Kuda. My dad took when they came to Newcastle to train. Mm -hmm. Um there's a photo of me. Dad and Kuda, I was about two. Yeah. Holding me in my first Carlton Guernsey. I've still got it. It's a little long sleeve one. It's, yeah, it's that's a special photo. All right. Mate, I've got a few questions for you about the season yep. coming up. Yeah. Uh, and I want to I, I didn't ask you these questions before we filmed this because I wanted yep. to get your initial organic reaction, right? Yeah. So first one is who's gonna lead the goal kicking for us this year? Mm, I don't know if he can go past Mackay. He's yeah, if Charlie Kerno was fit, I'd say him, but Harry Mackay. How many do you think he can kick this year? He has potential to kick 30-plus, but we'll wait and see, I guess. I reckon he'll kick around 35. 
Yeah, we're going to need him to kick at least thirty five. Def- I think definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think if we, I mean, if we want to make finals, then, we have uh, to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how many, if any, how many All Australians do you think we can have this year from Carlton? If we're all at our best, I reckon five at least. Name them. Walsh, Cripps, Weedering. I reckon Mackay has potential, definitely. Williams, if he's at his best. Okay. So, yeah. That's I'm a, that's really, a, mate, that's yeah. a solid five. Very yeah, solid five. It is, yeah. Yeah, and then and then I mean we can get we can get carried away here because Sam there's no we reason could. Sam Walsh could. couldn't get exactly. all Australian. He's, <laughs> he's so I've, I see so much potential in him. Yeah, he's going to okay. be a force. Okay, who will be our most improved player for 2021? I'd like to see a lot out of um, Paddy Dow, mm-hmm. but I reckon Zach Fisher. He will. I reckon Zachy Fish. Yeah, I really yeah. like. I really like Fisher. You think he's ready to take that next step in his game? I reckon, yeah. Yeah, he's got that forward role now that we all hear about. He's going to be the small forward of, of you know, he's going to be playing as a small forward mostly. Yeah, that's so, right. So um, how many goals do you think he can kick this year? I reckon he can get to 20. 20? Good. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Do you watch the AFLW? Um, no, not no? really. Do you? Uh, okay, okay. Um, I recommend you do because I ask Should everyone... I? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I, I ask yeah. everyone about when are we going to win our next flag? And it's always about the men. Um, but yeah. the reason why I say about the women, first of all, because it's our football club. Yeah, um, that's right. But second of all, they're actually really good. <laughs> I, have, I have watched a few of their, of their like, highlights and, on the Instagram and they are, yeah. they are good. Uh, they're good. And uh, they probably would have won the flag if Corona didn't happen. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think also because we miss footy so much, there's um they're going to start they got their first game against Collingwood on the 28th of January which is only in a couple of weeks uh, yeah. from today so I'll definitely uh, watch it. I just I'm so keen to watch some footy it's yeah. just yeah yeah and okay footy. okay two more questions yeah um who would you put into our team right now if you could it doesn't matter don't worry mm-hmm. about salary cap who's, yeah. <laughs> who's a player that you think god if he was in our team we'd win the flag this year oh I think Marcus Bonson Pelly is a really is a because he can play that midfield and that forward, which we do need a, a forward. Um, who else? Just Marcus, really. Like, yeah, fair. I can't really think of anyone else. Yeah, fair. no, I think he'd be a nice, nice little addition. He would, to yeah. Tom, Tom Papley. There were lots of rumours about him. I reckon he'd be a good addition, but yeah, that's true. Very true. Not and sure uh, how that'll come out. Yeah. The final one, I always yep. ask this, and you know this. When is this group, the men, when are the men winning the flag? When are they lifting up the cup? You've got to give me the year. 2025. 2025. Yeah. Okay. That's enough for them all to mature enough, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, I think so. I mean, that, Crypt will be like 28, 29. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's 26 now, I think. So, yeah, around the 2023 20, to 25 mark. Yeah. Will be an awesome opportunity. Fantastic, mate. Well, uh, listen, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, so have I. It's been good. Really appreciate you reaching out. Uh, your dad yeah, would be no. very proud of you, and you, <laughs> you've uh, you've Thank almost you. grown into his Guernsey. Uh, you stood up yeah. before, and you're not. You know, it's not too big. It's big, but it's not too it's, big. It's getting there. Yeah. yeah. So listen, take care of yourself, and uh, you too, I'll mate. chat to you throughout the year. Thank you, Terry. Thanks See a lot. See you, legend.